Hello everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make another Persian dish from south of Iran. It's kind of fish stew and belongs to the uh, Persian Gulf area like a Boucher, Bandar Abbas and the city by the Gulf, Persian Gulf. So this is a kind of different kind of the stew that from the one that they might make it in the north of Iran is very spicy first of all and it's very specific for that area the fish also are different from the one that I can find here because none of those I could find it here they call it sangsar, I mean stonehead, sorhu, reddish and the other one is a, a shirmahi or milk fish which I couldn't find any of those so I'm going to use the different but the key is the meat uh, of the fish has to be chunky and whitish, either no bone or big and thick bone so we can easily to take it out. So we are going to over the ingredients and I tell you how to make it and I start making it. Started from here that I have about four bunch of cilantro so it depends on four to five, depends on how big or small is the bunch, but usually the bunch are the same here. Maybe it's about 150 gram uh, in a weight wise. I do have a cup of flour here that I'm gonna use to just uh, put, it somehow just put the fish in there, coat it, and then saute. I have a fish. The fish that I was talking about, I have two kind. Uh, there, are, there is a cod, Pacific cod, and tilapia. Uh, the reason is because I already made this food with the the tuna, which uh, what was a canned tuna. But this time I'm trying to use this kind of fish, which is very similar the original fish that they use in uh, south of Iran, Bandar Abbas or Boucher for their Kaliye Mahi. So I think this is, is a character. It's very similar to what they told me. I actually talked to one of our re relative uh, in Bandar Abbas and they told me that's supposed to be chunky, no uh, bone on, and uh, these are very similar to what they explained it to me. So I hope that's gonna be, turn out to be good. I do have a, a tamarind, which I soaked that in the hot water about two hours ago, which is, this is the one that I took about, you know, like a one third of it, and it was about like 150 gram. So I have to just drain and get all the, juice out of it and not because there, there are too many uh, seeds and you know the, the chunky which I'm not going to use that but I show you after I just put a little bit more water and make it liquidy and we drain that through the uh, cloth or something else to just get the juice out of it. Uh, I have here it's a, the second of the herb that we use is a fenugreek. I have two tablespoon of dry fenugreek. The reason which is dry because first of all, I could not find a fresh one. At the same time, the dry one has more intense flavor, which is very, very necessity for this dish. And I have to put a little bit of water on it and soak it when I'm gonna saute with the, after I chop the, uh, the other which is uh, cilantro, then saute that together. Have one and a half uh, black pepper, tea, teaspoon black pepper, one third of teaspoon red pepper. This food supposed to be very hot and spicy. It belongs to that part of uh, country that they eat very spicy food. So it's up to you if you want to put more or less uh, red pepper or chili pepper and I do have about one and a half turmeric, one and a half salt. So 
I'm going to use some of them for the sauteing the fish. Some of them goes to the directly to the stew. And going to use less salt because I know that tamarind uh, has a little bit of salt on it. So I have to taste it after I put them all together. So if you need it, add, add a little bit more salt. I have one uh, big onion, which I'm going to chop, chop this and have, I guess it's eight uh, cloves of garlic. And I have some cooking oil, which is using for sauteing the herbs and uh, fish itself. So I'm going to start with the just cutting the onion and start sauteing that, then cutting the uh, cilantro. Let's go and start doing this. Okay, put about like a five or six uh, tablespoon oil first then add it if you need it for just to start sauteing the onion. All right, I'm gonna chop the garlic also. You can, you know, just ground it or do whatever that you think is easier for you. So it should be just a little bit uh, obvious in the food when you're eating it. So that's why I'm just cutting it like this, so I don't want to paste it. Okay, start putting the onion first. Okay. We're not going to, you know, cook this or sauteing it for a, uh, just a very long time. As soon as it just uh, lose the color and it just became loose, that would be enough. Then I'm going to add the garlic to it and some of the spices. Okay, while it's uh, putting an onion, to be sauteed. Let's uh, cut this cilantro kind of finely. Make it ready to saute that too. Okay, you just uh, make sure that is not too big. All right, now it's a uh, time for just adding the garlic. Okay, as I said, you know, this is fenugreek that I'm gonna uh, soak it in the water. Just gonna add the little bit of water. By the time then sauteing this one, we can add that the fenugreek into that too. Okay, as soon as the smell of garlic is coming out, you're just gonna add, I need some of this turmeric also just to, uh, uh, marinate my fish with also so I'm not going to use the whole thing right now same thing with the our black pepper and some of the salt too Let's start sauteing our cilantro. All right, I'm gonna saute this 
cilantro. I just put it here right now uh, without the oil because it ha it's a, has a little bit wet. It is wet a little bit. So after a minute or so, two minutes, then I'm gonna add the oil to it. All right, gonna just add the oil right now. It seems as if we came in just a little. So I might use some of those dry cilantro too. Okay, while our cilantro is being sauteing uh, away, so let me take the juice liquid out of this uh, tamarind and make it ready. All right. It is, seems it's very heavy. I have to add a little bit hot water to make it easier. So as you see, just uh, what it left, it's the hard parts and the seeds. So which we don't want that in our food. Okay, so we only need the juices. Okay, as you see, it seems it became so little, so I had some dry cilantro, just to put a little bit of water and just uh, using this to add it to, because uh, in the middle of cooking, uh, I don't have any other choice except just add this and saute together. So since I don't make this food that often, so I guess the next time I should buy maybe six, seven, eight bunches of cilantro instead of, you know, four or five. So, so I don't have to go through these things anymore. But anyway, I, this, uh, it's going to help that uh, dried one. I'm pretty sure because I, I use the dry herb and uh, in some other food, it works very well. Okay. So not, not going to be disappointed. Guarantee. Now it looks much better right now and as soon as it is turn a little bit dark then I'm gonna add the, uh, our fenugreek to it because the fenugreek it's just uh, it, uh, it burns so fast and makes it bitter so that put it at the end all right this is the color that I'm looking for so I'm just gonna add the our fenugreek to this one. Maybe a little bit of oil for this. All right, it smells pretty good all right and uh, now we are going to add this to our onion pot and start cooking them all together there you go All right, uh, while we are just cooking this, I start to prepare my rice also, because this is definitely has to be rice accompanied with it. So you, they, 
eat this food with the rice. So my rice is going to be ready at the same time. So it is time for adding our tamarinds to this also. And about three, four cups of water also. is a boiling water already. There you go. And we're just gonna let it start cooking. Then we go for preparation of our fish. Right now it's on a high heat after it started boiling in a, a minute or so and put it on a medium low. All right, um, it, I have one cup of flour. I'm gonna add the half of that turmeric that I had and mix with this. Okay, and uh, gonna just add the rest of the pepper, black pepper to our fish. with a little bit of the salt also, not too much. Okay, and make sure you're doing it at both sides. Okay, one of other fish that you can use is groper. Also, they said is very good for making it this kind of food with, with Okay, not too much salt because the tamarind has a little bit salt on it. So we can taste it later on. If it needs it, we can add it to the stew itself. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to dip this into the flour. The reason that we're doing, because this flour, it's giving it, thickening thickness to our stew. So that's the reason they do that. And we're not sauteing it 100%, just very lightly. So it's start boiling hardly, and I'm just gonna lower the heat. So just simmering. And after we saute our fish, it takes about half an hour, that's the best time to add the fish to this one. Or maybe a let, little bit later, but let's see. Okay, this is a good time to just taste the spice on this one. So I'm gonna see if it needs uh, anything. As far as sourness is good, but uh, is not the way it's supposed to be hot for us. I don't know about you, but so I'm gonna add a little bit of the uh, red pepper to it, or maybe one, uh, uh, even the fresh uh, hot pepper. So let's see. So just add a little bit of chili pepper and I'm going to taste it again before I put my fish into this. But it's, for now it's good. Alright, it's time for our fishes. So I'm not going to fry this all the way, uh, just a little bit this side. I'm 
this much is good enough. I don't want to be more than this because the rest is going to be cooking in the uh, stew. So that's enough to be fried, not more. All right, before I put the fish into this, I just want to taste one more time to see what it needs to be added to. I, as I said, I'm going to put one serrano pepper into this and just a little bit of the salt. This is it. I think we are good just to add our fish into this. All right, at the most that you're gonna leave this, it shouldn't be more than half an hour or so. So we're gonna, also I'm not gonna put the lid on the top of it. So it has to be cooked this way till it's done. <clears throat> See you in half an hour. It really took 30 minutes exactly after I put the fish into the stew. And it's our Galia Mahi, South of Iran, Bandar, Abbas, Boucher, and the Gulf area. It tastes delicious. All both fish turn out to be fantastic. And I ate it, it's all good. And as I said, we always serve this with the rice and you can have some also green, just like a radish or any kind of uh, herbs that you like. Okay guys, as always, thank you very much for watching my show. I really appreciate your support. And I hope you make this and enjoy it. And let me know if you have any question about it. Till next time with another Persian dish. Bye.